This is a sunflower. It may look innocent, but for this challenge, I will be trying to play Plants vs. Zombies 3 without using them. Even if the game gives us any sunflowers, I will not be picking up any sun from them, and instead I will only use the sun given from the sky. So even if we don't get shovels at the beginning of the game, we will still do everything we can to ignore and get rid of them. So yeah, let's just start the video. Alright, so starting off on the very first level, we immediately have to plant a sunflower. I mean, it's the tutorial, what did you expect? But what we can still do so that this no sunflower challenge still works is that we can just ignore the sunflower and the sun it produces. But the annoying part is that the sun coming from the actual sun kept falling on the sun produced by the sunflower. And tapping it would also mean that I would be using the sun from the sunflower, so that was really annoying. Here I caught the sun just in time. But that didn't matter anyway, because when I placed down the pea shooter, I accidentally picked up the sun from the sunflower. But either way, I didn't end up needing to use any more sun at all. So we're good to go for the first level. The second level immediately starts us off with two pre-planted pea shooters. So I only had to defend the middle row, and that was even easier than the first. This game really seems to like placing pre-planted plants, and there's nothing we can do about this sunflower except to ignore it because we don't get the shovel until later on in the game. So now all we have to do is sit back and watch the pea shooters do all the dirty work for us. And that's it. These levels are really short. And in the fourth level, we finally get a new plant. And this is... I'm not kidding, this is the only new plant in this whole game. The bamboo shoots are basically just pea shooters with bazookas. They're just slower and deal more damage to more zombies. For the next level, I thought that this was gonna be a really big problem with all of the sunflowers. But for the whole level, the sun coming down from the actual sun didn't really go close to the sunflower, so I was easily able to ignore them and not pick up any sun at all. With the sun from the sun, I was able to easily defend the first two rows, but I decided to let the last zombie eat the sunflowers and get destroyed by the blown mower. Speaking of which, I think it's time to explain what these little counters are. Okay, so for this video, there are three things that I want to keep count of. I want to see how many lawn mowers, pre-game boosters, and in-game boosters I use. And yes, I know, look how they massacred my boys. So they've turned the boom cherry into a booster. We can get them from little events and stuff, and they will be crucial. Because even the base game without the sunflowers is basically impossible without them. So at the end of the video, I will reveal how many of each of these individual things I have used. But going back to the game, we see that level 6 gives us 6 pre-planted shooters, which means this is a very easy level. Level 8 introduces the Grapes of Wrath, which is going to be very useful as they deal lots of damage to zombies. This is a fairly strange mechanic because now the game itself just beats the zombies for us, but for this challenge I guess it's welcome. And now the game begins to introduce us to the boosters. First up, it's the Rick, which kills a zombie for us. But I immediately pick up the sun by accident, which makes me have to restart the level. And since this level is specifically designed to play with the rake, we don't have enough time to prepare and are immediately bombarded with tons of zombies. And this is where we get our first game over. Now we can actually bribe the game to let us continue, but I am going to take my defeat like a man. 
While I was doing my research about this new game, I saw somebody doing a two seed slot challenge, and while doing a challenge, he just pays to continue. Not gonna lie, that's pretty weak, buddy. Anyways, going back to the video, the second time I am still overwhelmed with how many zombies there are. Because without much sun, this actually begins to be a little difficult. The grapes came to finish off the zombies, but that's kind of unsatisfying because I don't want the game to play itself. But finally we get the shovel and I can finally get rid of all of these annoying sunflowers. In fact, because I got rid of all the sunflowers, this gives me way more space to plant pea shooters. In level 12 we get the chili pepper, which is actually chili, and as soon as we can we get rid of these sunflowers and it's an easy level. In level 14 we get the squash. Right after the level we get this thing where basically for a day, if we're good at the game, then they will give us bonus boosts for free. In level 18 we get the jalapeno boost and you might have noticed that I'm skipping over a few levels but that's just because the game is so boring all of the levels feel so repetitive and all the same. But level 20 introduces to us the gumbot boost. This thing is really good. You can activate it before starting a level and save it up to when you are swarmed with tons of zombies and then when a zombie touches it, it hits and kills almost every single zombie on the lawn. We also get a cherry bomb. By level 24, our 3th tier begins giving us 3 extra boosts. Also, the last boost I forgot to mention was the extra sun boost, which gives you extra sun at the beginning. We also get a gargantuar, but the strat for him is to let Mo take care of him, since we don't have enough sun to purchase all of the plants we need to defeat him. As we fast forward through the challenge, we get to level 26, where I get bombarded with so many zombies. This level breaks my streak, and it actually takes me quite a few attempts to try it. Although you have to admit, for this game it's pretty pathetic that I was able to breeze through 25 levels easily. But for this level, going through three waves of zombies with so much protection and so many of them is impossible without having enough sun to supply the bunk choice, which are the most expensive plants. The level also gives me a bunch of squash, but those take so much time to regenerate. And so the only strat is to use the expensive bonk choice. After a while, this is the best run I can get, with three bok choys defending the first three lanes. The only choice I have is to use a chili pepper to freeze the zombies, and this along with the lawnmower helps me take care of the zombies for a while, but there is still one last wave to go through. On the top row, the zombies were able to eat through my bok choy, and as much as I try to defend it, I am forced to use a cherry bomb because I don't have any other choice. Here the Grapes of Wrath come to save me, and after placing a few more bok choys, I can finally beat this level. In level 30, we get the Snow Peas, which are as cheap as regular pea shooters. I mean, it's a little strange, but it's great news for the no sunflower challenge, because the cheaper things get, the easier it is for me. Also, in this game, there is still a vase breaker. Iconic, but unoriginal. This game is literally the first game, but worse, with less things, and way longer and more painful to go through. I mean, for the first game, you would get rewarded with a new plant after every single level. This game is basically just the same level hundreds of times with the exact same 10 plants. I mean, here, just to show my example, in this level, you start off with extra sun, which is basically a ripoff of the treadmill level. But anyway, as much as I would love to rant about how bad this game is, I still have a lot to get through. 
We get lightning reeds and new zombies that summon birds, but after going through some research, the lightning reeds are already a part of Plants vs. Zombies 2. At this point, all of the levels can be beaten after a reset or two. There is a new mechanic of puddles which occasionally spread throughout the level and they're just little boosts for the plants. By now I could see that this wasn't really gonna end up being such a good video. The game was super boring so I decided that I should just mostly time lapse the rest of the levels. These are probably going to be the death of the run. They can attack my plants and in two shots kill them. It began getting so bad that for the first time in the run I had to go to the store and begin purchasing power-ups so that I could continue on with the run. All of these levels have slowly been taking away all of my power-ups, and so now I'm left with almost no money, no power-ups, and I got all the way up to level 76. I mean, it doesn't start off too bad, but I did fumble right here and let the zombies eat my snow peas. But for this level, I keep ending back to the zombies ate your brains screen. And this just slowly keeps continuing, seeing the same screen over and over again. It begins feeling impossible. All of the zombie pigeons that are coming slowly peck away at the snow peas and without any walnuts, there's not much you can do to defend against them. And so, I actually give up for a day or two, because there's pretty much nothing you can do. But suddenly, out of nowhere, the game gives me three power-ups. And so, without being able to buy even a rake, I begin the level and hope for the best.
I hope you've enjoyed that. I know I had no right to make it as dramatic for one of the worst Plants vs. Zombies games. But let me know what you think. I was trying out something new. But if you're wondering if I had unlimited power-ups and could get as far as possible, I would still stop short at level 111. Because in this game, there are night levels with no possible way to get sun rather than planting a sunflower. So uh, yeah, that's the end. Subscribe if you liked it, and please tell me if you like this editing style. I've tried a bunch of new little things to make it more pleasant to watch. And if you thought it was nicer, please let me know. That's how I can make better videos. But I think this will be the last Plants vs. Zombies video I make for a while. <laughs>